Hi everybody, it's Sammy with Leaf for Fruit Studio and welcome back. Today we're going to do the hashtag 50 stack challenge 2, which is a challenge that is being hosted by Amy with Crafty Cat. I will link her channel in the description box. And what you do for this challenge is she draws out a prompt on Monday for um, its opposites. And then you're to make something using those opposites. And it can be whatever you want to make. If you want to make ephemera for future journals, if you want to make a page, you know, she doesn't have any rules for anything like that. The only rule that she really has is that you have to use the prompt word in your makes. So what I have been doing is I have this little box that has greeting cards in it, or greeting cards, uh, playing cards, and I have been making my prompts using the playing cards. Um, for example, this one was winter and summer. And so I made these two little cards to represent those two prompts. So that's the only rule and you can use whatever substrate that you would like to use. And I think we're on week six, maybe? Two, three, four, five. Yes, we're on week six. And this week's prompts were sit in stand and so I have pulled out all of my stuff and this is going to be a really quick one um, because I uh, am using some ephemera that I already had made for these and so um, they should go pretty quick um, um, my focal points are caps and so I have picked two number nines for nine lives, and that's what we're going to use. And so this is my focal point for sit. And these cats, the reason I picked the cats is I got um, at a used bookstore three books that had like graphic images in them, black and white images that you can use. Um, and one of them was full of cats, and one of the ones I got was, like, um, food and drink, and then the other one, the third one was transportation, and so it has all these great images in it, um, that you can utilize in your makes. So, that's what I'm doing. And uh, the other thing that I'm going to use is these little uh, clusters that I already had in my stash. And so, like I said, it's going to be a fairly quick and easy make. Um, I'm going to put the cluster on first, I believe. So, let's get started. And I think I can use art glitter for this because most of these are... And these clusters, I make them while I'm watching TV. And I just take my little scrap box down with me. And I take my little tiny attacher. And I just take a bunch of scraps and pile them on top of each other and staple them. And then I find something that I want to use in the center. Um, sometimes I use flowers. Sometimes I use... Um, butterflies, I've used buttons, just whatever I have, um, and I put that over where I stapled with some glue, and then I have a cute little cluster to use in my makes, so I'm just going to put that on there, and then I am putting tabs on all my little cards with some little, uh, some type of sentiment on it, encouragement kind of things, so that when I 
I this little box sits on my over on my side desk and I can just flip through it and see all my little encouraging little words. So I'm going to put that right there like that. How is everybody? I hope everybody is having a good week. About to start the weekend. Are you guys going to be watching the Super Bowl? We're going to watch. We don't really have a preference. Of, well, I won't say that because my husband hates um, the Eagles. So, he's a Patriots fan. So, he really does not like the Eagles. And so, he's going to be cheering against them, I'm sure. And then, I'm going to put the little kitty on here with the little puppy. rooting for the commercials, I think, this year. It's a good thing to root for, right? And then I made this little stamp with my little letter stamper, and it says, Ooh Puppy, instead of Ooh People. I'm going to put it on here, about right there, I think. And then for my... encouraging words because obviously ooh puppy is not very nice but I think that's what I see when I see that cat looking at that puppy <laughs> I'm gonna put be kind ink it first. I don't have this ink all over me trying to ink these little bitty things. I just washed my hands because I had ink all over me. But such is the life of the crafter. If we didn't have ink all over us, then we're, we're doing something wrong, right? Or paint or glue. Or something of the sort. And I think I want a little bit of ink on this little paper right here. Alright, so there is our set. For our stand, I have this little feller. And I have another cluster. And I'm going to put it right up the edge, like that. And this one's just got some deli paper and some tissue paper and all kinds of kinds of paper. So 
has some lace on it. It has like the holes from where I tore some paper out of the sketchbook. All kinds of stuff. Yeah, the more different kinds of paper and pieces that you can use on these, the more interesting they are, I think. And then it just has a little Tim Holtz flower on the top of it. And again, it's all just stapled. And then I'm going to put the little kitty. Kind of like he's climbing up that paper. I'm trying not to cut off his tail. Might lose just a little piece of his ear, but that's okay. Just a little piece of his tail. And then for this one, I am going to put, I stamped, what? Like, what? What am I doing? doing anything. What me? I don't have any kitties. I've had kitties in the past, but we don't have any kitties right now because the husband is very allergic kitties. We have three puppy dogs, so to keep us plenty of busy. And then for my word for this one, I have be curious. Just words, plural, isn't it? And it is a Tim Holtz sticker that's kind of like an old Dymo label. So there you go. Like I said, that was a quick one. I do want to ground my kitty so he doesn't look like he's floating up in the air. So I'm going to take my Stabilo all. Ground him a little bit. And there you have it. There's this week's hashtag 50 step challenge two with the prompts sit and stand. I hope you guys like that. And I hope you guys will check out Amy's channel to see what it's all about along with um, her other other videos and also check out her Etsy store. She has great uh, digitals and also she has a um, 
quill forge that she's been cutting out some really interesting things on that are available for purchase. So I hope you'll check that out. And until next time, I hope everybody has a great weekend and enjoys the Super Bowl. And we will see you back soon. Bye.